Hello everyone. I just got a box from Tidal Gardens. I think it's the first order I've ever placed with them, but they had this one coral I totally wanted. Now the box is huge, the corals are small, I'm not sure what's in here. Let's take a look. First rule, get yourself a nice rusty razor blade to open up your box. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Little rewards program, my receipt. It looks like I got some stickers. Got an acro, some recordia, uh, looks like a scoli, another scoli, and a platygyra. Nice. Seriously, this cooler is way too big for my three little frags. Got a couple of heat packs. They're still warm. Always nice. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> All right, first thing we got is my little... What did I get? I ordered something specific. I don't know. I don't recognize it. It might be exactly what I wanted. <laughs> hey, wait. It says here, Mardi Gras Platygyra. And I think that's the one I liked so much from the photograph. And then this is an Ultra Leptosiris. And it's floating at the top. That's interesting. They have a little chunk of foam to keep it always from touching the bag. And I got a pink tip frog spawn. I loved the way this frog spawn looked in the pictures. I was like, I got to get this one. I've never had one like it before. So those are my three. I need to acclimate them right now. The truth is I only wanted one of those frags. I didn't care about the rest. I wanted the one and it was on sale for $15, which was crazy for what it was, but that was their special. And I thought, well, I'm not going to just pay for shipping overnight for one little frag. So I picked up a couple other things to kind of help their business. And hopefully they will all do really well in my tank. The corals are now in the sump. They are going to acclimate for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And once the temperature is equalized, I'll go ahead and dip them in a product to get rid of uh, any kind of pests or bugs. And then I need to find a spot for them in my tank. So this is the one that I didn't recognize initially, but I must have liked the picture. I wouldn't have bought it. And then here is the Ultra Leptosiris, which wait till you see the pattern on this thing. I do want to say that I like how they hang from the styrofoam. That's really cool it puts less impact on the coral. When I buy corals, I always try to write down what they're called. So taking a few pictures of the frag with the name is really helpful to remember. Here's that lepto. Wait till you see it under some lights. Here's the photograph from Tidal Gardens and I love the markings on the rim in between the mouths. The frog spawn came off the little foam floater, but I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna use some bug out for my coral dip. It takes 40 drops of this per one gallon but I don't have a gallon in here, so I'll use about 20 drops. Now I need to wait five to eight minutes, and then I'll go ahead and blow everything off and I'll take it out of here. So last night as I lay down and I was about to go to sleep, I realized, where is my new frag that I'm so proud of? <laughs> I was thinking, where on earth did I put it? And of course the tank, it was pitch dark, it was one in the morning. So I waited until today. And I jumped out of bed. And I came out here in the living room and I'm looking at the reef. And I cannot find it anywhere. And I'm just like, did I put it there? Did I put it there? Did I put it there? Did it fall down? And I'm looking around everywhere and I couldn't find it. I finally did find it. So apparently I'd put it somewhere in there and it fell down and was under here. So I've in the meantime put it right there in a nice safe spot with a couple of skeletons surrounding it so that this coral over here can't sting it. This one won't touch it because it's back there and then this one definitely can't get it. But at least I found it and it'll look better in a couple more days. I also got this frog spawn for Kate's Reef and it is super pretty. It looked different in the photo, and so I was thinking this would be really remarkable. But it's only been a couple of days. Maybe it just needs a little more time to really open up and impress me. The 
The third thing I got is that guy right there, which looked great in the photograph, and I had a feeling he had a lot of potential, so we'll see. So to wrap things up, I was very happy with the way Tidal Gardens handled the whole order. Uh, they notified me that they were going to ship it on Monday for Tuesday arrival. I confirmed that that was perfect. That's what I prefer. They packed it beautifully. It arrived the right temperature. I acclimated. I put them through the dip. No surprises. And all the corals are doing quite well, fortunately, because I found the one that tried to disappear on me. I'll give you an update later, and we'll see how it grows.